Fountain pens are special writing instruments. They not only produce a more beautiful handwriting, they are also versatile. However, fountain pens also require a little care. The most important point here is cleaning. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Of course, a fountain pen does not need to be cleaned all the time. But at the latest, when you want to fill a different ink, you should clean the fountain pen. If the fountain pen writes poorly or no longer after a long period of lying, cleaning usually helps as well. There are some good reasons to clean a fountain pen. But how? Today I will show you a few possibilities. The first option is also the simplest, and it also helps very well with dried ink. And that is a simple water bath. We simply put the grip section of the fountain pen into a container of water and leave it for a while. When ink has dried solid, this allows it to dissolve over time. The ink that is still liquid is also washed out over time. It is practical if the grip section does not lie flat, but is inserted in the container with a nib pointing downwards. But of course, be careful not to damage it when you put it in. Cleaning the fountain pen in this way can take time, and it is possible that slight residues remain. You can test this very well by placing the fountain pen on a paper towel to dry. For example, a kitchen towel or soft paper towel. The fountain pen is placed so that the nib is in contact with the paper. The paper helps to draw the water out of the system and thus dry the fountain pen from the inside. If these areas are still slightly discolored, you know the fountain pen is not completely clean. Therefore, some rinse the fountain pen under running water. This can be done after a water bath. Cleaning the fountain pen only under running water, however, actually uses too much water for this. That's why you can use some tools that will make the cleaning more effective. These include syringes, converters or a so-called bulb syringe. Some manufacturers use syringes themselves for cleaning and recommend this method to the dealers. Or sell such sets. What you need is a simple syringe and an empty cartridge. Ideally, the empty bottomless cartridge that you get in some new fountain pens. The one you don't know what to do with, but picked up anyway. If the base of the syringe is a little too small for the cartridge, you can use hot glue or regular glue to either tape this down or adjust it. If the tip is thick enough, a little heating of the cartridge can be used to press it firmly onto the syringe. The syringe is then filled with water. The grip section is attached to the nib and light pressure is then used to push water through the ink feed and nib. This of course cleans the system and some particles that have become lodged can also be loosened, if there are any. However, it is important not to apply too much pressure and hold the grip section firmly. Otherwise, it is too easy for the grip section of the fountain pen to loosen and fall off due to the pressure. This cleaning is very effective and can also be taken as a standard for cleaning, as recommended by some manufacturers to the dealers and customers. It is only problematic if you have many fountain pens with different cartridge systems, because you need a syringe for each cartridge system, or at least an empty and open cartridge that can be placed on the syringe. You can also directly use the converters that exist for the system. Especially if these have to be cleaned as well, it is a good idea to do it first. However, it is very tedious to use the converter so often when they are stuck in the grip section. The step with the syringe is easier, even if you then clean the converters again individually. The bulb syringe is more universal. This is because you simply apply light pressure to the connection and can then press the previously absorbed water through the ink feed and nib with pressure on the bulb syringe. However, it is important here that the bulb syringe also really seals at the grip section. This is because it does not have a connection like the cartridges. In this respect, the bulb syringe is more universal, but the use of syringes with cartridge attachment is a little safer. By the way, I have placed a few links to the parts shown here in the video description, for those who are looking for something like this. There is also a link to these little jars there because these are very handy. I have a length here that should be long enough for the majority of grip sections with nibs. 
and then you can put the grip section for the water bath, and even store them safely for a short time thanks to the lid, without the risk of something tipping over and leaking or the water evaporating. But these jars are also very useful for the next method, the ultrasonic bath. Such an ultrasonic cleaner sets the water in it vibrating at a very high frequency. The effect of this is that particles are loosened. Things are cleaned. Some people know this from opticians who like to clean glasses in an ultrasonic bath. And of course, it also cleans fountain pens. Dried ink can usually be dissolved excellently with it, and thus often fountain pens that are no longer ready to write can be used again. But such an ultrasonic cleaner is of course also excellent for the simple cleaning of fountain pens and other things. You can simply put the grip section into the bath. Or you can put these glasses with grip section into the bath. This way the grip sections are in a better position than lying in the cleaner. And on the other hand, not the complete water is contaminated, but only the water in the respective glass. And if you even want to use the ready-made fountain pen cleaning liquids, for particularly stubborn cases, you don't need so much right away. You can also use such large jars with sieve insert, especially for several parts, even tiny ones, an effective method. Because nothing is lost through the sieve. However, you should be careful with damaged or very old fountain pens. Unfortunately, damage can also be worsened by an ultrasonic bath. If you have fountain pens made of special materials, you must of course also see whether these materials can be cleaned in an ultrasonic bath without any problems and without damaging the fountain pen. The last method can be a little more risky, and I only recommend it to people who are willing to take the risk, namely taking the fountain pen apart. You remove the feet and the nip from the grip section. The easiest way to do this is with screwed units. However, you should then only remove the nip even further if you really know what you are doing. But even with a nip unit that has been unscrewed, it is usually possible to clean places that may not have been cleaned enough during a water bath or light rinsing. With screwed nip units, this is still quite easy and safe. But especially with nips that are plugged in and only hold by pressure, you can do something wrong. Hence the warning. Because, in case of doubt, you can also ruin a fountain pen this way. Not during cleaning, but during disassembly or reassembly. I assume no liability. By the way, I use a small rubber piece for this. It gives me a better grip and doesn't damage the nip. And if you look closely, you can recognize an old cut open bicycle inner tube. With the exception of the last method, there are easy ways to clean your fountain pens. Of course, not all methods can be used with piston fountain pens. You can't use a syringe with a piston fountain pen, of course, or a bulb syringe. But here you simply use a built-in mechanism. In the ultrasonic cleaner, a piston fountain pen should also always be inserted so that the pin is above the water level. Because otherwise there is a risk of water getting into the mechanism. Even if this is not tragic in most cases, water has no place there. These are a few methods to clean your fountain pen. Pick the methods you feel best about and have the best success with. I hope I was able to answer a few questions about fountain pen cleaning. But if you have any questions, comments or other great options, feel free to post them below the video. Otherwise, I hope you were able to take something away from this video for cleaning your fountain pens. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like to this video if you liked it too. And for more new help and reviews around the topic of fine writing, especially fountain pens, do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It would make me very happy. And new videos are coming every two weeks. See you next time.